what's going on everybody i'm back with another video this video is going to be looking at triangles in football and if they really matter and why people talk about them and what is the real importance behind them but before we start check out both my books they're online they're on amazon and there's links in the description below so be sure to check those out your support is, is greatly appreciated but let's get right into the video so as we see each player is connected via their first line passing options to the closest player to create the triangles we often see in football. So now with this, we can start to talk about what does this mean. So when people connect the players, they usually look at a few different things. How the players are connected to one each other, the distance between each of their players. Because when maintaining a connection, if the players are too far apart, the connection can be broken and be made inefficient. So that can lead to, now we talk about the triangles and each of the individual shapes that I've highlighted here with these blue lines in the offensive team. The triangles themselves aren't so much important, but it's the connections that they represent. So if we are looking at the holding midfielder, the number six, he has strong connections between opponents into more advanced players. So in this sense, it's a good reference point to see these connections, to see the availability the six has to his offensive teammates into more advanced areas and the superiority that can be generated and represented by these connections, which oftentimes lead to triangles and oftentimes are represented by triangles to look at these diagonal passing options, which are the most valuable type of connection. So if we have a diagonal connection, into advanced positions from the holding midfielder this is ideally what we want and what we want to see from our team but now if we look at the first line we can start to see that the players our central defenders don't have access to the number six because of the blocking defenders so oftentimes this is where the misrepresentation comes from so now if we change the color to red to show that the team out of possession has control over these passing options, we can see a bit more accurate representation to what is actually happening. And then now we can see starting the structure, the inefficiency of this structure and only being able to play horizontally and not play into these advanced positions via the number six. So then from here we can see that wherever the ball is, it's not connected into more advanced positions and only horizontal circulation can occur. We change the structure. So now we've changed our structure, dropping the six between each of the central defenders and creating a back three, which now creates strong passing connections into our new holding midfielder, our number eight. So we have a vertical pass into our holding midfielder. We have diagonal passes from our wide central defenders. And if the players were to even press a little higher or become more narrow, some of these passing lanes would be more emphasized and more open than the others. So this is one way we can see changing our structure. And as we noticed in the wide central defending positions, we don't have triangles, we have diamonds to create a four man structure. And this is because of the distance now that's created between first the attacking midfielders and the central defenders, and then the width that's created through the wing backs and the holy midfielder. So these players, aren't typically directly connected because of the increase in distance which now we have a four-man diamond structure rather than a three-man triangle just because of the connection between these players and then if we look on the weak side we now have asymmetry between these players and within the team by creating different structures on each side so these are just a few ways we can use triangles and diamonds in football to then show superiority and get a better sense on how efficient our offensive structure is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.